Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me using all the products I pulled in this past week's Shop My Stash. So I have all my products sitting right here in this little basket. And then I also have an extra product that I've added into here, which is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, so I'm going to be trying that out along with you guys. I've tried this out once so far, but I want to get a good thorough like testing on it so I can tell you guys whether or not it's comparable to the Tatcha, the Silk Canvas, because I know a lot of people are saying that it's pretty much the same thing. So I want to try both products out and give you guys a thorough review and let you guys know whether or not I feel like it is a dupe. So the other thing I'm going to be doing is on my YouTube, I did do in the community section, I had an area where you could answer questions, but it's not really questions, it was the things that you assume about me. So um, I asked you guys what were some assumptions that you had made about me. So I'm going to be going through those as well and letting you guys know whether your assumption was correct or whether it was not correct. So I'm going to go through those while we're doing the get ready with me as well. So I'm going to pull that up so I can have that here with me. So um, let's see. Alright, so we've got it looks like we've got 30 comments so we've got quite a few comments we can go through hopefully we can get through all of them we are going to go ahead and start by priming my face I'm going to prime it of course with the Tatcha and the elf so I'm gonna do one on one side and one on the other I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit so over there you can see my beautiful skin so I'm gonna use the Tatcha on my right side and then I'm gonna use the elf on my left side so I'm going to use the little stick that I use for my Tatcha for both things, the little disc thing that it comes with. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to do it up to the level that I typically do, which I think I went a little far, but that's all right. So we went this much right here. So there's a little line on there. I know a lot of things that, that says you're supposed to use a rice size amount, but I mean, I've always used this amount that it calls for. Actually, since I'm only doing half my face, I probably should have only done half. So we'll probably wipe some of that off. There's still some on the little disc here. So I'm just going to pat that into my skin. This is supposed to help with your skin as far as like helping it to look more like almost poreless, but not really. So you'll see, it looks, there's a difference in your skin when you use this. It's really hydrating as well for me with my dry skin. I love the way this works on my dry skin. So I do love this product. So let's go ahead and get into the first question while we're doing this. I'm gonna kind of chat along with you to let you guys know what I'm doing, but also answer the questions. So the first one is from Riley H. It says, I'm assuming you facetuned or blurred this photo. So it was a picture of me holding a wine glass. And yes, I did use facetune on that picture because I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting up there in age and some of the things that I have on my skin, I don't prefer to have in pictures. So at that point in time, I actually had a lot of acne. Well, that wasn't really acne. It was just acne scarring. So it wasn't like acne issues. It was just a lot of scarring. So I did actually face two in that picture to get rid of my acne scarring. And there were a couple of wrinkles on my forehead, my hot dog pack, like I tell you guys that I have all the time. I blurred them out a little bit. So yes, I'll be the first to admit, or probably not the first to admit. I'll be one to admit that yes, I do sometimes use Facetune. So I'm just gonna continue rubbing this in to my skin. I did just recently hydrate my skin, so I don't know if it's just not working well with my hydration, but it looks like it's peeling up on me right here for some reason. I think it might be my moisturizer I use, so I think they're just not mixing well. I don't think I gave it enough time for it to settle, so make sure I rub that in pretty good because I don't want that to affect my foundation that I'm going to put over top of it. So you see where it's peeling? I don't think it's not the product itself. It's not my Tatcha. It's my moisturizer. So I switched to a different morning moisturizer. And I think that's what's messing it up right now. So don't blame the Tatcha. The Tatcha is not to blame for this, the peeling action going on. That's me. All right. So now that I've did that on one side, I'm going to wipe off the rest of this on the little disc so I can use the same disc for my e.l.f. so we can get, I'm gonna do less than I did for this time because like I said, I just used way too much. You don't need much of this primer at all, honestly. You just need enough to like, feel like your, your skin will almost feel like it's just like, I don't know, it's like a really interesting feeling. It's like soft and yet it feels hydrated and yet it just feels, I don't know, it's a really odd, almost smooth, like you smooth your canvas. So I really like the way it works. All right, now we're gonna go to the Poreless Putty Primer by e.l.f. I'm gonna use this one. So I'm gonna use the same little tool and I'm gonna dig in here and I'm just gonna get not as much as I did the last time. So that way there we don't have as much wasted so you guys are gonna see this in action, how it works. And then of course, once I've tried this out thoroughly, I will review it for you. So make sure I put the lid on this tight because it is a 
more of a wet product so you want to make sure you don't let it dry out so now the next question is from Erin Hunter she says she assumes that you don't get mean comments on YouTube because you're such a sweet person sometimes I do get mean comments but it's not very often usually I try to nip those in the bud because or is it yeah it's nip it in the bud because I don't like to have any kind of meanness going on my son unfortunately does go through some bullying at school so I went through bullying at school so I don't tolerate bullying whatsoever I think that is something that we as a community need to stick together and say no bullying because it's not appropriate. It's, if you wouldn't go up to somebody and say that to their face, then I don't feel like you should be saying that to somebody online. What do they call them? Keyboard warriors or something? I don't know what it is they call it. But anyway, I feel like it's something that you shouldn't say online. So when, a lot of times my family does watch my video. So I don't want those mean, inappropriate comments left on my channel. So if you have something ugly or mean to say to me, send it to me in an email. That way there, it's not left on my channel so that people are just like... I don't I just I don't like mean comments my email is always listed below if you want to send me a hate email go for it we can go through it there I just don't want my son accidentally stumbling stumbling across something mean somebody said and then he's gonna realize look you know people are just mean people I mean but that is honestly in real life people are some, sometimes can be just mean and I'm trying to teach him right now how to deal with bullying so I guess maybe if you want to leave a mean comment, I guess maybe that's that, that's up to you. But I just, I don't like mean comments. I do get them, but they're not very often. All right. The next question is from Mingo O'Rourke. She says, I assume that you're a very hard worker and a savvy businesswoman. I also assume your home is organized and everything has a place. You seem humble, kind, and care to do a lot for others. But you know what my mother always said about assuming that you shouldn't, LOL. Long time sub, first time commenter. Thank you for all the time you put into your channel. I enjoy it very much. Thank you so much, Mingo. So this one here, so am I a savvy businesswoman? I, I mean, my husband and I work together. So we he owns a business and I work with him. So that helps out a lot because I can go into the office and I know kind of what my day is going to be like. Sometimes I used to work for some people that I had some horrible bosses before. Believe me, I've had some horrible bosses. And now when I go into work, I know that my boss is going to be excellent because first of all, I married him. So now I'm putting on my best of my foundation. So as for being a good businesswoman, I think I am. My husband and I both, we work together, like I said. So we, we try to figure things out together. He owns the a company that has several other employees so I do have to help him out with figuring out what to do with the other employees as well but it's just all in all it's just a good thing that we do together I feel like we do we work well together so I don't know I think I am a guess a good businesswoman and then also I do YouTube on the side but this is more or less just for fun because I love just chatting with everybody about makeup and in my life I don't have a whole lot of people that love makeup as much as I do so I feel like I'm kind of like an, on an island by myself sometimes when it comes to makeup because nobody's like as gung-ho as I am about makeup. They're just like, okay, you're good. You got like 1,600 palettes. Not really. I mean, but that's what they exaggerate and think. What do you need another eyeshadow palette for? And you guys, you probably more understand because it's like we all love makeup and we all love different aspects about makeup. So for me, I love eyeshadow palettes. That's like my weakness. I love eyeshadow palettes. I just think they're so fun. I love how the different color stories mix together. I love, for an eyeshadow palette, I love like the design of a palette. There's so many things I love about eyeshadow palettes that it's just hard for me not to love a palette. So, but I am trying to declutter my collection because I feel like I have too much. So I'm trying to dwindle my collection down some because I want to donate some. And then I also I'm going to be putting some up on my... Poshmark so hopefully I'll have them up there soon I'm trying to work on that I cannot find my little box my light box that I used to do photography with so I have no idea what I've done with that but anyway I got it went off on a rant there <laughs> rant um and this is my house organized it somewhat is I mean my beauty room is getting there it's more organized now than it has been ever so that makes me very happy all right so that foundation went on a little I don't know I just don't know if I love this foundation to be honest with you this Bessemer foundation I think it's good 
but I think it has to it takes time for it to settle into my skin it's like one of those that once it kind of melts into your skin it looks better when you first put it on it's like ugh, I don't know about this so I'm kind of trying to get used to it because typically when you put a foundation on your foundation looks good and then later it can look worse but this one's a little bit odd it's like it looks not so good at first and then looks better later on so it's it's strange now I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I'm going to use my LA Colors. Where's that? Here it is. It's called the Browie Wowie. I'm going to use this product right here. So I'm going to use that to do my brows with. And we're going to go on to the next question. I think I answered all yours. Oh, about my house being organized and if I'm humble. I think, I mean, I think I'm pretty humble. I mean, I came from humble beginnings. I didn't have a whole lot growing up. My family, we were not well off. So... And not to say that we're super well off now because we're not, but we are not at a point where we struggle like we did as when I, when I was growing up because I know for my mom, I feel very grateful that my mom did everything she did because she raised me and my brothers pretty much on her own because my dad was not in the picture. So I think I do have humble beginnings and I think that that kind of keeps you grounded and keeps you to remember where you came from and remember that everybody has struggles not everybody has it like so easy like you see on these pictures on instagram and you're like oh my gosh their life must be fantastic well you don't know what they came from you don't know what kind of struggles they've had in their background so i think we all have to keep that in mind sometimes as well because i think we look up to a lot of these people that post things and we're like oh my gosh their life must be completely perfect and in reality nobody's life is perfect everybody has issues everybody has something they're dealing with so we have to remember that, that the grass is not always greener on the other side and that appreciate what you have because there's someone out there that's praying for what you already have. So that's how I look at it. So yes, I, I do think I try to stay humble. And the next one is from Lisa Tompkins. She says, I think you're a pleaser. You like to make people happy. You love to give people presents and do things for others. You're the kind of person people would describe as one of the nicest people you've ever met. You try to see the good in people and admire simple things that some people take for granted like a beautiful sunny day or mountains or landscapes and you have to, and you love to shop oh my gosh you like got me almost to a t seriously i do admire like picturesque scenes i mean where we live i live in like the country and like i feel like it's always so picturesque when you walk outside and i appreciate those evening sunsets i appreciate the morning sunrises I appreciate when you go on vacation, the location that you're at, not just going out and doing fun things. I appreciate just the scenery. I appreciate the things that surround me, honestly. So, and that goes for not just, you know, where I'm living, where I'm vacationing, but just everyday things. Like I can appreciate looking over at my two little dogs and seeing them snuggle together. And that just melts my heart when I see things like that. So I don't know. I'm, I'm very appreciative of everything in life because I remember, well, I think we all probably know this. We only have one life and we should always try to live it to the best and try to make those simple things be happy things, be the things that you remember in life. It's almost like I remember an episode on The Office and it's the episode where Pam and Jim get married and she says her aunt says to capture pictures each moment of their wedding to remember them and then they remember they didn't bring a camera so they were like well we'll take mental pictures. So then they do the little mental picture they take out a pretend camera and do that. And that's what I like to kind of like think in my head at the time when I'm seeing something that I want to remember forever, even if it's just a sunset, even if it's just my two dogs snuggling, even if it's just my son doing his homework and seeing how he's trying so hard. The things like that make me very, very happy. So I try to almost do like a mental picture of these things. So I really enjoy life and I think that you should always try to live life to its fullest, even if that means, like I said, just a appreciating the simple things so um and am i a people pleaser i totally am i love to make other people happy i love to see when people are happy i love to give people things i love especially like my friends and family i love to make sure that they are comfortable when they come to my house i want them to always feel like they're at home i don't know i just that's one of my things now i'm going to go ahead and prime my lids i'm going to use the luscious angel eyes eyeshadow primer so it looks like this this actually was really impressive this week i was so impressed by this i was like wow this is really nice so it's got a lot of pigmentation to it and you don't need a ton like i just put a little little bit on my finger here and i'm going to tap that in using my acrylic nails i just put on recently uh we have a date night tonight so 
I'm going to wear these acrylic nails and try them out. I got them for like a super, super good deal. So I'm just trying to make sure that I can wear them well. Honestly, I've never worn acrylic nails for a long period of time. I tried putting on artificial nails a long time ago and then I ended up biting them off. I like pulled them off because I couldn't tolerate the way that they felt. So I'm hoping they can at least last through date night. So that's the goal. All right, so um, what else did she say? I think that was it for that comment. So as soon as I finish this eye here, I'll go in and read the next comment. So yeah, this is a really good eyeshadow primer though. I mean, I don't know if you're seeing it or not, but like it's covering everything. Like there's nothing that's not covered. And it's like a good, I don't know if they have different skin tones or not, but like this one's a perfect skin tone for me. So it matches really well. It's almost like putting concealer on my lids, but it's not thick. It's super thin and it's got that really, really good coverage. So it just gives everything a nice uh, canvas for you to work with. So I really, really like this. I'm just tapping it on. All right, done with that part. I'll wipe my hands off and let me slot up. We're at Makeup Fits and she says, I'm assuming the people in your life don't understand your obsession with makeup and I know something about that. You are so right. I just mentioned that because I feel like not everybody loves makeup like I do in my life. So I'm using the Lorac Pro 4 palette this week. I have been playing with this a lot this week and I feel like it's a really good palette but it's not like I don't know it's like one of those palettes that you're just like it's a really good one and if you have it you should use it but it's nothing that's like extraordinary it's really good because it's Lorac shadows and Lorac shadows are all really really good so I don't know I just <clears throat> I'm not like super excited to use it do you guys ever feel that way you get a palette out and you're like oh this is a really exciting palette to play with I'm going into Chan Chantilly reminds me of when I was younger and we were listening to a song my little cousin loved it was like Chantilly lace she had a pretty face what it reminds me of. I don't know why my little cousin loved that song. All right the next question is from Jan V and I'll oh, hang on one second I'll tell you what she asked or she assumed. So far you guys have done pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. <clears throat> you guys know me pretty well. I feel like I'm losing my voice. <laughs> Watch me lose my voice halfway through this and we'll have to just I don't know what we do if I lost my voice. I guess I'd have to stop. All right, the next question is from Jan V. She says, I'm also assuming you don't have a regular job because you and your family own your own business, which is how you're able to haul so many goodies. I do have a regular job. I work with my husband. He owns the business, but however, we work together. I go in every day to work. I do a typical job like everybody else. I go in, do my, I do the accounting work, and I also do like the making sure the office, I'm like the office manager, so making sure everything's cleaned and organized and also that everything is stocked. So I do actually work with my husband every day. He goes in every day. He gets up like super early every morning. I don't get up as early as he does just because I'm a night owl and I do tend to sleep a little bit more than he does, but I usually get up and take our son to school. And then after I take him to school, I go to work. So yes, I do work every day. Um, but hauling the makeup, I pay for all of my makeup. It's like my little fun thing that I like is makeup it's like my hobby so my hobbies are pretty much doing any kind of crafting scrapbooking crafting and makeup so those are the things I love and I feel like if I work for my money and that I would like to purchase these items then I don't feel like it should be a big deal so now I'm using brulee I don't know if I saw that or not I'm using brulee trying to get a transition color here going and you can see that it's got a good pigmentation to this so it works really well so yes, I do actually work every day and I'm not sure if that means that you guys think that because I work with my husband, that's not a real job. It is a real job. I have to clock in and out like everybody else does. We tried not to, we're trying to make the company as unbiased as we possibly can. Just because he owns the business doesn't mean that we can take advantage of the business and like, you know what I'm saying? So no, I do work every day. Um, the next question is from... Uh, Jan V as well. She says, I'm assuming you have never had any cosmetic or plastic surgery done to your body. I have not. I have not had any kind of cosmetic surgery. I There are a couple surgeries I am interested in. I am interested in doing a breast, what is it, a breast implants? 
because I have an inverted sternum. Not because of vanity reasons. Mine is more because I have an inverted sternum. My sternum sticks out further than my tatas do. And I would like to be able to wear a bathing suit and feel comfortable and not have that bone sticking out so far that it makes me feel very uncomfortable. So I would like to enlarge them enough to wear that's not prominent anymore so I would like to have that done I would also like to have Botox done I would like to have Botox done in my forehead here so there are some things I would love to do but I have not had any done yet um rosebud going into rosebud now I'm just going to kind of put this right in the crease and the next question is from Christine Ronowitz she says I assume you don't get angry easy and you keep those feelings bottled up inside and you don't have a bad, bad word to say about anybody. Well, I don't get mad easy, you're right. But if somebody does something to my son, either one of my children, then I don't hold back. I will let somebody know that, look, that's not how it works. I will let somebody know that I don't appreciate it. I will let them know that they will not be involved in my son's, either one of my son's lives anymore. Because I feel like I am here to protect my children. And... <clears throat> I'm not going to allow others to manipulate or to do bad things to my kids. So that's the one thing I will get angry over is if I find out anything about my children that somebody has done anything to my children, they will no longer be allowed in my, in my child's life. So I just completely block them out so they are not allowed. I don't let my children be hurt because that's what mothers and fathers in my opinion are here for is to protect our kids. So I do get mad, but it only basically is over my kids. The next question is from Brittany Hickson. And she says, I'm sorry guys, this is taking way longer than I thought it would, I guess, because I'm like talking and doing this. I assume you're a super organized person. I love your channel. Thank you so much, Brittany. So I do love organization. I don't know that I like the whole Marie Kondo method where you take everything out and you have to have a feeling towards things. I don't know about that. But I am pretty organized. I like to keep things pretty organized. I'm going to go into soft pearl. So I like to keep my house pretty organized. I am one of those people that I organize pretty much all through the year. So I like to choose a different room at different times throughout the year. And I'm like, I'm going to organize this room completely. And I will get rid of things. I like to donate things. I like to give things to friends and family. I like to sell things on Poshmark. I like to just honestly just declutter so as we go throughout the year I like to declutter but I don't do the Marie Kondo method just because I just don't agree with her methodology I think it's I mean I know a lot of people are doing that method and it's working great for them but but for me it just doesn't work to actually first of all you have to pile everything on your floor into one big giant pile and I'm like no that would drive me bananas to have everything piled up on the pile no so now I'm gonna go into candlelight so that just doesn't work that method doesn't work for me but I know it does work for lots of people. I've seen lots of videos on the Marie Kondo method and that's what they do. They do that method and clean out their house and they clean out their closets and they do whatever and, and they really get rid of a lot of stuff. But I can see where that can be taken to an extreme too because I think just because something doesn't make you happy at that point in your life, what if you're just having a bad day? What if, what if like something drastic just happened in your life and you've decided to Marie Kondo your life? If you guys have ever seen Gilmore Girls, on Gilmore Girls, uh, the mother, the grandmother, she decides to Marie Kondo her whole house. And it was right after her, hus her husband died. So she's Marie Kondoing her house and she's getting rid of everything. Like everything is going and like she just doesn't care. So for me, I think your mythology, like when you are doing this, I think it can depend on how, what kind of a date you're having. And, and I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to go back and be like, gosh, I Marie Kondoed my whole house and now I have like nothing because I was having a really bad day that day. Now I'm going into Merlot. So I just, I think you have to be in a good frame of mind to be able to do that. I think you have to kind of plan it out and know kind of like, look, we're going to do this, but we're not going to go to the extreme where we don't have any furniture. We don't have any clothing where we have nothing. You have to be at least, oh my gosh, look at the fallout. Nice. We have to at least figure out what we're doing. We can't just go into this gung-ho. So I think it's a really good thing, the Marie Kondo whole trend that's going on right now because everybody's decluttering their homes and everything. I've seen a couple jokes where they're like, oh my gosh, now's the best, best time to go to like thrift stores and stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, it probably is. 
because everybody's decluttering their life. And all these things are going to thrift stores and consignment stores and Salvation Armies. So if you're someone who is a thrifter, now's a good time. Go check out the thrift stores because everybody is on the Marie Kondo train and they're all getting their lives organized. So I just personally cannot do that method. I know for me that method would not work. So, but I know, like I said, it has worked for plenty of people. I've seen plenty of people do this method and it works for them. So it's just not my mythology. So I am a very organized person. I do love to keep an organized home. Um, I try to put everything in its place, but that doesn't mean it always stays in its place. So yeah, I just, I like to organize. All right, I'm gonna clean up under here. I need to wipe that away a little bit. Use this right here. I made a mess, guys. All right, so here's what my eye look is looking like so far. <laughs> it looks kind of messy, honestly. I don't know what the heck's going on. It's looking like I just didn't blend at all. I'm gonna pull back like I normally do and blend a little bit more. Whenever it feels like you didn't blend enough, guess what, just blend a little bit more. I'm just gonna blend some more. It's not these shadows, I think it's just because I'm so busy talking to you guys and I really wanna concentrate on what I'm saying and I'm not concentrating on the makeup. Okay, now I'm going to use concealer. I'm gonna use my Estee Lauder. This is the Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer, so here's what it looks like. This is in the shade Light Medium. It actually works really good as a concealer and it does a little bit of a brightening effect too for me. So I'm going to put this under my eyes here. And I'm also going to cover up any kind of blemishes that that foundation didn't cover. Which was quite a bit honestly. That foundation is super super light. So and then I'm going to go with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And I'm going to tap that out. Tap tap tap. Uh, here we go. All right, the next question is from S. Bridges. So S. Bridges says, I assume you're an animal lover. So that's the first question. I am an animal lover. I love animals. We have two dogs. We have seven cats and they're all, we have um, quite a bit of land and the cats are like barn cats. So I do feed them regularly. They get fed twice a day. They are so cute though. Some of them are not super friendly. Some of them are very, very friendly. It just depends because some of them just decided, hey, I don't like you, so, and I'm not going to force it because I'm not going to get scratched. So, we do have seven barn cats. At one point, we had 30, I think it was 30, 30 goats. We had a lot of goats, and we actually sold them for the breed, not for the meat, because I know some people do sell them for the meat, and that was just not my, I was not about to do that. I was not about to sell an animal that I raised for its meat because I just, I couldn't do it. I have too, I'm too soft, I have too soft of a heart to know that they were going to go somewhere to be slaughtered. But for the breed, we would sell them for that. So we, they were all papered. They were boar goats. So they were all papered and well documented and well taken care of. And then at one point we had like 50 chickens. And unfortunately, one night the chickens got attacked. And we're not exactly sure what attacked them, but we can only assume that it was a fox or a coyote or something like that. We do live in the woods and we live we have quite a bit of land, like I said, so, and they were in their little building and everything, but somehow something got in the building of the little chicken house and they were all gone the next day. So I'm not sure exactly what happened there. So we were very, very sad about that because my son was extremely sad because he loved his chickens. And a lot of the chickens we had since they were little chicks, so we had raised them inside under the little heat lamps and everything. So it was just a very unfortunate series of events, of events, yes. Uh, the next question is, I'm new to YouTube and your channel, but I have really enjoyed your makeup tips and reviews. Thanks for being real and sharing from your heart. Always overlook the negative with a smile. Thank you so much. That was so sweet. Thank you so much. That was just perfect timing because sometimes I feel like as I'm doing these videos, I'm like, man, people are probably thinking I'm like a negative Nancy and I'm, I'm not trying to ever be a negative Nancy. Believe me, I try to always think to the positive. So, all right. I'm going to go ahead and do my graphic liner. I'm going to use the Makeup Forever. This is the graphic liner. I'm going to put some of this on. Hopefully you guys can see. Uh, I'm not going to do a wing because guess what? I don't. I suck at a wing, so I'm just going to put line. Put a line. Put a line, not put line. All right. There's one. I'm going to go in and do the other side. 
I wish I could learn how to do a really beautiful wing. But honestly, I can't. I'm just not that talented. All right, there's my liner looking so purty. For some reason, my camera decided to shut off and it didn't warn me. It just was like, boop, gone. And I'm like sitting here talking to nobody. So anyway, I'm using the mascara. This is the Kush Mascara by Milk Makeup. I'm gonna do this. I don't know where my eyelash curler is, so I can't do that. So I'm just gonna put this in my lash line or my lashes. You guys know I'm like so good at mascara, so don't take any tips of mine for mascara because they're not going to be good. And by good at mascara, I'm being very over-exaggerating. I'm not good at mascara at all. That's okay. I'm not good at mascara. I'm not good at, like, I'm not good at the liner. I'm like, what the heck am I good at? I'm good at faking it so it looks like I knew what I was doing. Alright. This is actually a pretty good mascara. I really like this one. It definitely gives me some length and a little bit of volume. There we go. There's that. Now I need to warm up my face because I feel like I'm really pale. I don't know if it's because that foundation's off or just because it's winter and I, I just look pale. So I'm going to go in with my Lorac Contour Palette and we're going to go into the next question. And the next question or the assumption is from Angela Deslivia. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. We're going to go into Light Contour and she says, I'm assuming you don't have to work your husband has money and you can afford to buy as much makeup as you want. So we already discussed that. I do have to work. I work with my husband, so we, we kind of already went over that part. But yes, I, I'm not sure why people think that I don't work. I'm not sure if I ever came across that I just don't work or what's going on there. But a lot of people think that I just don't work for some reason, and I'm not sure why. But I do work. I do work uh, with my husband. So, and I also take care of making sure our son gets to school. I also take care of our house. I also take care of our offices. So I do, I do work. Um, did I not pull a highlighter for this week yet? I'm gonna use this one, the shimmer highlight in this palette right here. It's like super dusty. Do you guys see all the dust that just came off of that? It's like super dusty. Oh my gosh. It's like really pale. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I thought my skin was looking pale, but this is definitely going to make me look even more pale. Not sure if I like that highlight. I have it all over me too. The next question is from Christina Mixmong. I assume you're an awesome mama. Well, thank you so much. I tend to think that I'm a pretty good mom. I'm not, probably not the world's greatest mother, that's for sure. Because I mean, but I try. I try to do the best I can because that's all we can do in life, right? We can try. And if you feel like you didn't do as well today, you wake up tomorrow and you have this, the goal of doing even better tomorrow. So that's what I try to do. I try to do the best I can do each day for my boys because my boys mean the world to me. So I try to be a good mama. I'm going to go in with Opalescent. I'm going to use this as an inner corner highlight. Yeah, that's pretty. I've been dragging my highlight up a little bit more before I was taking it down and I've noticed I kind of like it up a little bit more. I don't know about you guys. What do you think? And I still pat it out with my finger though. I still like it putting it on with my finger too actually. Probably not my ring finger because that kind of put on quite a bit there. Mm, that's all right. <laughs> it's okay. It's just date night. <laughs> He'll like me, right? Uh, the next question is from Becky Perkins. 
Becky says, I assume you love crafting and you are pretty good at it. I assume you love, okay, so that was the first question. I do love crafting. I don't know if I'm pretty good at it. I try, I'm using Blossom in this Lorac palette. I try to be good at it. I mean, my favorite thing is to just sit down and, and not really even think when you're crafting. I think it's fun, oops, I went to the wrong color. I think it's fun just to sit down and like kind of let your mind run free and just do whatever you think of. That's one reason why I haven't done another craft video on my channel lately because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like kind of crafting with you guys is fun and everything, but I'm not sure that... Sorry about that guys, my camera decided to overheat, so while it was overheating I decided I would just sit here and watch a couple YouTube videos. Actually no, just watch like a little bit of one. Anyway, I'm going to finish up my makeup look and finish with this question here. Hopefully, maybe what I'll do is just do a next week when I do my get ready with me, I'll answer the other questions. So if you guys have any other assumptions, you can list them down in the comment section below too for this video today. So the next question or the next assumption that Becky had was, I assume you love makeup and you think, and I think you're very good at it. Well, thank you. I don't think I'm very good at it. I think I try. So I don't think I'm very good at it. I think that it's just one of those things that I just love to do. So. I just think it's fun. So for me, just sitting here playing with my makeup all the time is just a fun thing to do. So whether I'm good at it or not, I'm not real sure. But thank you for saying that I am. The next question, or the next assumption from Becky was, I assume you love shopping and you're good at it. Girl, you know I love to shop. I love to shop. Anybody wants to come shopping with me, you let me know. We'll meet up, we'll shop. I love to shop, so we can do it. I'm gonna go into cognac here. I'm just gonna put that on my lash line a little bit. So yes, anybody wants to go shopping, let me know because we can do that. We can definitely do it. I was getting stuttered. I'm thinking about shopping. I got excited. Who doesn't get excited about shopping? I know I do. Not always the most <clears throat> efficient at saving money when it comes to shopping, but I try to shop for sales. So now I'm going to go into soft petal and I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone a little bit. And then we just have lips to do, guys. We are done. We are done. You guys have to let me know what do you think of the look today. You have to let me know. Um, the next question is from Kira Whalen. She says, I assume you're good at budgeting, managing things in your lives. Side note, I've never been afraid. Never be afraid to share what you get because you work hard for them. Well, thank you. Life is too short to live it like it's your last. Love your channel. Life is too short. Live it like it's your last. Love your channel. Thank you so much, Kara, because I do get some criticism on here for when I do my, my shopping, you know, when I do hauls and things, because some people don't like hauls. And that's okay. You don't have to watch because I always put it in the title that, hey, this is a haul. So if you don't like hauls, you're more than welcome not to watch those. I just like to shop and I like to share with you guys what's going to be coming up on my channel soon. So I do like to shop. And thank you for being very easy going on me when it comes to that because some people are not. I'm going to use my Sephora. This is the cream lip stain and this is in the shade. Somebody told me the shades were on the side of here, but I don't see it. It just says cream lip stain. I don't see the shades on here still. These are really nice though, because I like these. They, uh, they stay on your lips. Even if you take off the product, you'll see what I mean here in a second. So if you're someone who's like me and you don't like the feeling of like lip products on your lip period, because sometimes I don't like it. Sometimes it makes me feel like, like it's too much. This is never too much. I mean, these cream lip stains are really, really nice. So I don't feel like they're too much, but what I do like to do is if it's a really dark color, I like to kind of dab it away. And then because it's a lip stain, it literally, it literally will stain my lips. So they're still stained, even though I took most of it away. So I really like that. So I didn't get to get through all the questions, but I did finish my get ready with me today. So I got to use all the products. I'm sorry that it was so long. Maybe we'll just do a 
sit down, just chit chat a video of that, the rest of the questions, and maybe if you guys have any more assumptions, you can add those to the comment section below because I love that you guys are telling me things that you guys assume about me and some of the things we've kind of corrected now and some of the things we've kind of said, yes, that's, you're right, you're exactly right. So anyway, I'd love to know if you guys have any more assumptions, if you wanted to see anything in further detail, especially the e.l.f product where did it go i lost it here it is the elf poreless putty primer so if you guys want to see want to see this in further action let me know because right now i really do like it my skin looks pretty good i'll show you guys up close my skin looks pretty good my camera is washing me out a little bit let me see if i can change your iso down a little bit whoops that went up there we go so there's what it looks like i feel like it looks pretty much the same honestly so I have done a war a wear test, not a war test. I have done a wear test on this so far, and so far I really feel like they're good together. I feel like they work well together, but I don't know if they're exact dupes yet. So we're gonna study into that a little bit more, and then I'll let you guys know what my final thoughts on that. So anyway, again, if you have any questions or if you have any assumptions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.